I think we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would like to uh, welcome the family, friends, and guests to this very special event to honor the memory of an American hero. Lance Corporal John David Ponder, U.S. Marine Corps, who was killed in action in Vietnam May 16, 1968. We especially welcome John's sisters, Victoria, Carla, and Eve, and also his one of his closest uh, lifelong friends, Dennis Ewing. These family members have gathered here today to donate the burial flag and personal decorations and awards of Lance Corporal Ponder to the Perry County Military History Museum during the passing of the flag ceremony. Victoria has asked me to tell you the story on how this day actually came about. It began while looking at, through a scrapbook given to me by Danny Kiefer. Danny Kiefer's mother, Mrs. Troy Kiefer, saved newspaper clippings from World War I, Korea, and Vietnam. A newspaper article from our local paper dated February 1973. The headline said, six bo local boys died in Vietnam, and it caught my eye, because for many years, uh, I only knew of the four boys that we had talked to, so what's the story about these two other boys? <clears throat> but while, while recognizing David, I also want to recognize the other four uh, mentioned. Uh, my closest uh, friend and across the street when I was growing up, uh, Daryl Charles Littner. Um, Gary Ernst, whose family is also here with us today. Thomas Lowe's, uh, who was my uh, wife's classmate in school. And Raymond Fordash, who was a career military gentleman who died at 33 years old in Vietnam after being held as a prisoner in the Korean War. After reading further in this article, I found uh, that John David Ponder and a Michael Elliott Johnson were in the same Marine Company G, 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines, and killed in the same battle, Operation Allen Brook, which took place on May the 16th, 1968. I wondered always, are, did these two Perry Countyans know each other? Still don't know. John David Ponder was born in Perryville and moved to High Ridge, Missouri. John David enlisted in the Marines in St. Louis and after boot camp was sent to Vietnam. Michael Elliott Johnson was born in Perry County and his father was in the Army. When Michael enlisted, his dad was stationed at Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii, so that is where Michael entered the Marines, enlisted in the Marines. And amazing as it might seem, these two men, both born in Perry County from different parts of the country, were put in the same company in Vietnam. 
One day in the museum, uh, Carly, my wife, and I were talking about adding these two gentlemen to our, marine, to our uh, display at the museum. I was in there with uh, the two boys getting ready to put them on the wall in the, in the uh, museum when a lady, Joanne Law, who was working there, came by and said, John, she said, there's a lady from High Ridge, Missouri that knows John David Ponder. So the hair on the back of my neck stood, it stood up because it was, it was sh shocking to me. It was almost like somebody from up above was trying to tell me something. So I talked with her and she had spoke of the Ponder family. Then a few like, weeks later, I was in the doctor's office for an eye appointment and uh, a, a gentleman that I knew and his wife came in and I didn't really know his wife and I was speaking to her and I said, uh, what was your maiden name? And she said, Thompson. I said, oh, from up around Thompson Holler. And she said, yeah. And I said, you wouldn't have happened to know uh, Michael Elliott Johnson. Yeah, he was my cousin. So in two weeks, two people that I'd never ever heard of, I knew two people that had known them. So I was saying there that the, that the uh, two Marines were wanting their story out. Several weeks, weeks later, my wife Carly and I were on our way south and going traveling through Mobile, Alabama, when Carlene's phone rang. The lady on the other end was the secretary from the superintendent of Northwest High School in House Springs. The officers were moving and she was trying to find a home for some documents and stuff that she had in the safe. And in the safe, she pulled out a diploma, a 1967 diploma for John David Ponder. She Googled his name and came up with an article in a local newspaper about the two Marines killed in Vietnam. The lady called the museum's curator phone and began the process of getting the diploma to our museum and finding the family of John David Ponder. So we now have that at the museum. Later, I called the Jefferson County Historical Society and asked if they had any information on John David Ponder. They sent me some newspaper clippings from the paper where, when John David was killed in action and buried, and now he's buried in Jefferson Barracks Cemetery. She also told me about the two Ponder sisters that she had found on Facebook. My wife, was, Carlene, was able to contact Victoria on Facebook and she contacted her sisters, Carla and Eve, and that's why we are here today to honor John David. In doing the research for the two missing Marines, I found out that Michael Elliott Johnson was on the monuments at the courthouse and at Legion Lake, but John David Ponder was in Nevo. After talking with the VFW, American Legion, AMVETS, and the Perry County Court, it was approved to put John David Ponder's name on both the memorials. A big thank you to Tim Burr of Burr Monument who had the name inscribed on both memorials at no cost to us. John David now has his place with the Perry County veterans who gave the ultimate sacrifice. When this wall of honor was established, it was to honor all who raised their right hand and swore to serve our country. I'm certain that John David volunteered to serve his country. He knew that it was possible that he may never return. But John David raised his hand anyway and gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country. This day we recognize John David and also the five other Perry County veterans who lost the ultimate sacrifice. Their sacrifice and the sacrifice of others before them and those following in all wars bestowed and ensure the freedoms that we have enjoy. As a veteran, I am proud to have been asked to help John David families honor his service. May we never forget. God bless all veterans and God bless America.
and uh, we lived down a dark road, and he kept hearing noises. So to protect his sisters, he uh, went and got the rifle. So he's looking out the window, watching and listening, and he set the rifle down, leaned over it, pen fell out of his pocket. So, okay. Well, he reached down to pick it up and pulled the trigger. He had set that rifle on his toe. So he hit his mark that very first time. After that, he was a total expert in the military. So thank you all again for coming. We appreciate it. Love you all. Now I'm going to uh, recite a poem. The name of the poem is Old Glory. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest building. I stand watching America's halls of justice. I stand majestically over great institutions of learning. I stand guard with the highest military power in the world. Look at and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for our freedom. I am confident, I am arrogant, I am proud. When I'm flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshiped, I am loved, and I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, in the Persian Gulf, and scores of places long forgotten by all but those who were with me. I was there. I led my soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines. I followed them and watched over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired, but my marines and sailors cheered me, and I was proud. I have been soiled, burned, torn, trampled on the streets of countries that I have helped to set free. It does not hurt. For I have been soiled, burned, torn, and when it is by those I have served with in battles, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the bonds of earth, and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. I have been solid witness to all of America's finest hours, but my finest hour comes when I am torn in strips to be used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly at half-mast to honor my soldiers, my airmen, my soldiers, sailors, my marines, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother and at the graveside of a fallen son or daughter, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. May I wave, dear God, long may I wave.
I want, to, I want to thank everyone for attending the ceremony. And thanks to uh, Dalton Williams for his great bagpiper music, for Staff Sergeant Jim Halstead of the United States Marine Corps, of Bob Hirschbach for his playing of taps, for uh, John David's good friend Dennis Ewing, and thanks to Victoria, Carl, and Eva for the donation to our museum. I know that John David and Michael Elliott are smiling down on us at this time. A special thanks also to the members of the Perry County Military History Museum who have placed a bronze plaque to honor John David Ponder on the south side of this wall. This year has been designated the year of the Purple Heart in Perry County. My wife, Carlene, curator of the Perry County Military History Museum, would like to present Purple Heart Pin to the Ponder Sisters for their brother, Carlene. This concludes the ceremony. Uh, everyone is invited to the Perry County Military History Museum for a tour of the museum. And I know uh, Jim Hart also has this museum over here open. Um, and we'll be at the museum probably at, uh, I tell you what, let's, let's make it 11 o'clock. We'll meet everyone at the uh, museum at 11. Thank you.